This is esports. You think esports? This is FTC. All right, everybody. There we go. What's up? Callisto here, Jolly Phobic, uh, on hello, the mics. Hello. Yeah, so we have some uh, more Chicago Melty Blood type Lumina action. Uh, this game is pretty fucking cool. So cool. I will say I this. this Don't trust him. He's biased. <laughs> he played old Melty games, right? He's going to be like, yeah, new Couple. Melty Blood. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, never played, <laughs> I never played old Melty. I never played Undernight. I played mm -hmm. like a smidgen of DFC, uh -huh. right? Like... Uh, I don't have the background in this game uh, that a lot of people do. Um, I am having a lot of fun. I didn't enter tonight oh, because okay. I I was worried because when I played the other day, I was talking about how I had like the hell of spaghetti hands and I couldn't do. Oh, yeah. I could, like, I knew the combos, but I couldn't really do them on command, so I didn't mm -hmm. think I was ready for a tournament yet. And then we played, and everything came out, and I was like, fuck. Yeah, I, I know. Entered. You were telling me when we were <laughs> playing, like, you were like, oh, yeah, I had spaghetti hands. But, but it, it it's also so uh, it's yeah. also Grand Blue and Strive tonight, and, like, Grand Blue's mm -hmm. automatic. Like, I got to mm -hmm. play Grand Blue, so I'll be getting up here and there to, to do that. Jolly's going to help hold things down here. Absolutely. And uh, we got some pretty good matches. Uh, so up first, we're going to have Jinsoku and Kizzer Crate coming up first. So we're going to have Saber. Um, I'm, I'm not sure... Who uh, Kizzer Crate's actually playing yet? Yeah, no, Kizzer Crate was definitely interested in Melty, definitely interested in playing a new game. You know, everybody kind of getting hyped for the new game as well, seeing if it's a game for them. But uh, yeah, good to see Kizzer Crate in and playing this game, uh, you know. Yeah, and you know what? He doesn't have like what I would consider a set archetype, right? Like he'll play uh, mm -hmm. generally characters with big normals, and I, I think that's a red arc there. Or no, regular, regular. That's regular, arc. Arc. yeah, yeah. And yeah, Shiki yeah. on Jinsoku's side, I, is Jinsoku leaning further into the rush town? He was playing Saber last week. Oh, yeah, I think Jinsoku kind of realizing that they made Ark purposely really powerful. I was like, all right, I'll just play Ark instead. Yeah. I think it's Kizzer on Ark. Jinsoku's oh, on Shiki. Kizzer on Ark. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay, okay, so okay, okay, okay. Jinsoku went from like Saber, who's a pretty mm -hmm. compact, like in your face character, to mm -hmm. Shiki, who's like the far end of that spectrum. Like, oh, Shiki, yeah. Shiki is up in your shit uh, uh -huh. very often. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, and you can kind of see that like DP moon skill that he used there. You can get that jump cancel after that and everything. So uh, I think Jin, Jin Soku trying to use that to his advantage. But Kids are great. Of course, going in with Ark. Oh, nice mash. Yeah, a lot of characters kind of utilizing that match to their advantage. Yeah, you can yeah. see... The, a lot of players still sort of feeling out the hit stun in the air. I think that's like the biggest adjustment. If you don't come from uh, French Fred games, like a legacy thing, getting used to doing air combos is probably, honestly, one of the most challenging parts of the game. Yeah. Uh, in Melty in particular, using shield correctly is, it's, it's very weird, right? Like, yes. under night, I feel like the spots to use shield are more obvious, or a better way to say it, the spots where not to shield are more yeah. obvious. But the punishment for shielding wrong in Under Knight is like catastrophic. Where in this game, yeah, you get a you get hit for a combo, but it's the same combo if you would have just gotten mixed up, right? Oh yeah, a lot of people kind of using the shield system in the game to just kind of hold it down and see if they're able to press a button in between your shield. But you know, in AACC, you were nice. able to. Oh yeah, that was yeah, nice. moon drive into the EXDP. In the corner, not gonna be enough. Wow, kids are great, kind of using that. Falling jump B going right into the arc drive. That's going to be it for the second round. Kids are great going up 1-0 over Jinsoku. Yeah, and you can see Jinsoku, I think, maybe having a little bit of, uh, you know, feeling out the new character. I think yep. uh, you can see in the, the re-jump combo, he didn't quite get arc low enough to the ground for 5CCC to come out. I think he did 5CC, and then she juggled too high and kind of air teched out. Yep. Uh, so kind of hard. I mean, at most, he has seven days on Shiki because he was playing several, uh, Saber last week. So. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the wall bounce. Nice pickup. Oh God, her air throw is so sick, dude. It's really good. Yeah, she gets like really good pressure after it as well. I I know I'm like a medium weeb. I'm not like super far in there, <laughs> but something about a small woman just choke slamming a dude is pretty fucking <laughs> yeah. cool. Like, just, like grabbing them right yeah. out of the air. Yeah. You know what? Because it reminds me of like one of my favorite weeb moments ever. Uh, the scene in Bleach where Aizen goes to say something to Ichigo when Ichigo comes out of the tunnel, and Ichigo okay. just grabs him by the face and flies him <laughs> off. Yeah. It, it's that feeling, right? It's so good. It's definitely like the anime like playstyle special. Yeah. Like, Koma has that, where he's grabbing other people by the face and just, like, slamming them But it's the better ground, when it's yeah. a girl who's, like, half the size of Koma. Oh, yeah, just like a tiny <laughs> yeah. little fucking, yeah. Like, awesome. she can't even get her hands all the way around the neck. Mm -hmm. She's just... Mm -hmm. Nice. Using B 
the uh, rapid combo there. Okay, nothing to follow up. Gonna get the clash. Yeah, reverse B, keeping safe. Oh, almost got the hit on the side. Good block yeah. by Jinsoku, but got mixed up by the charge normal. I don't know if that's plus frames, but it does have that vacuum back in. It does, yeah. Oh, nice, nice block by Jinsoku on the super delay. Jinsoku kind of showing. Oh, great. Yeah, that was a great interruption for uh, Kizzergrade. Yeah, there. and gonna push a little bit out of the corner. Honestly, didn't get much space to breathe after the super. A little bit of a drop, but yeah, recollected after that. the tech. Because the just kind of ready for anything that Jinsuk is trying to get out of the corner. Nice. Shield B, gonna get the side switch, but our drive gonna finish yeah. that off. Did you see that Shield B, he had the follow up because uh, Art kind of bounced off the ground there, and I don't think Jinsoku is ready for that follow up at all. And Oh, yeah, I, I've yeah. done that before. Uh, if you do get the counter hit B follow up, uh, I've definitely had times where I was like, oh shit, that ground bounce is. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Like a couple of characters, you know, you can go into like CC into like an EX yeah. move or something. Like Akiha can do like BC. Uh, I was about to EX. say the same thing about uh, yeah. Akiha Charge JC, where I forget that it ground bounces if it hits by itself. So I push the oh. button when I <laughs> land too early. I saw you had the real the yeah. real strats for that, mm -hmm. where you just mash 5A so hard that you whiffed your 5A under me when I ground bounce too high, but then your second one came out and you still collected oh, the combo because yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you just like rapid beat <laughs> into it. So Yeah, that, that that's the thing in this game. It's like you can kind of whiff that 5A and then it'll go right into like the, the auto combo. The thing you have to realize in this game is if you want to get the consistent kind of standing A follow-up, you have to hold back and do 4A, 4A, 4A to kind of get that like jab, jab, jab on block on standing. And yeah. then when you go into crouching, it's just like 2A, 2A, 2A. Um, you can kind of see that it's just like the consecutive uh, consecutive kind of mashing, uh, like holding down back, mashing on block and everything. But yeah, um, up next we are going to- yeah, It's going to be uh, Backlash coming up against Ike Sheamus. Nice. Not Ike Shamas, uh, <laughs> Mr. Weeb over here. <laughs> Ike Shamas, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to say it every time. Ike Shamas. <laughs> No weaves over here. Guy, Ike Sheamus. He's going to watch this archive. Like, I fucking hate these guys. <laughs> I hate these commentators. So. Yeah. All right. Um, they need me to play Strive real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to leave you to it. Uh, I actually had a hit. Me to it. Oh, no. You know how the things work. Yeah, so backlash yeah. on the player one side. Ike Sheamus on the second player side. I will be yep. back in a few. Uh, yes, our fearless leader has to go play Strive. Oh, okay, yeah, that is on mute. Um, but yes, we are going into this match here. It is going to be Backlash versus Ike Sheamus. It seems like Ike Sheamus is playing CL against Backlash, who is playing Ark. We see a lot of people kind of playing Ark, getting into this character, like I said before. They made this character really, really good. And, uh, oh, yeah, really nice punish there. Uh, Ike Sheamus wishing. Picking up there. Go to the corner, BC. Getting the setup in the, yeah. See, a lot of people are gonna go for that BC throw and get the re-jump in the air to kind of set up that uh, neutral. And, oh no, Ike Shame is putting himself in the corner, throwing out the keys, but uh, Backlash getting in. Nice, yeah, DT there. Getting the rapid combo, throwing him back towards the corner, throwing out the keys. Oh, nice, yeah, going to heat, getting all that life back. Oh, yeah, full screen. Can I kind of set up the neutral here for Backlash? Yeah, nice, yeah, it didn't, it didn't hit high enough for that to cross up, but uh, still, Backlash taking that first round in spectacular fashion. Still not uh, getting any of the meter back, but still has a lot of uh, moon drive. Well, counter hit on the air. But he's gonna pick it up afterwards. Just gonna pick it up on the ground. Uh, okay. Going back towards the corner. Yep, really nice by Ike Sheamus. Not gonna be a counter hit on the air. Interaction there. Wow, gets the beefy follow up after shield. Yep, again. Dashing in. Oh no. Like shame is not blocking when he was landing there. Still gets hit by the DP from uh, Ark there. Nice. In a really good position for Backlash of a round. Ike Sheamus trying any way they can. Still getting hit by the re-jump in. That's our first game towards Backdash using the Ark against the L.
Oh, we're going back to a character slot. Nice. Oh, are we switching to Noel? Wow, I think this is the first time I've seen Noel in our uh, kind of locals over here. And I, I know a lot of people are kind of entertaining the thought of playing this character, but at the same time, a lot of her kind of intricate kind of moves are uh, uh, really weird for some new characters. Nice. Ike Sheamus, this switch to Noel is kind of starting well. The backlash is able to kind of get himself out of the corner. Set up again, trying to go for the, the, the air back dash and the cross up. Ooh, clash there, that was nice! Okay. B. I think that was an ABC air throw. Wow, oh my god, the shield OS on the key wake up there. Oh, Ike Sheamus was just able to kind of block that shield wake up, get the punish there as well, pushing back off short of the corner. No shield on the arc drive, and that's going to be a lot of damage. Pushing backlash towards a first round here over Ike Sheamus. Oh, shield on the charge B, but no follow up there. Still, Ike Sheamus kind of able to etch it out. We got the keys. Oh. Yeah, BCBC BC air throw, just gonna take it there for Ike Sheamus. Kind of showing that this uh, switch to Noel was a pretty good option. Okay. Not a lot of movement for your round. Uh, the high shield, yeah, high shield getting called out by 2A. Full conversion here from Backlash. Anti jump into low, trying to call out the shield. Okay, yeah, nice call on the back jump. Moon drive, yes, fatal counter, no follow up there, oh no! Got a raid coming in, oh jeez, just me on the mic too, oh that's not good. Nice arc drive, not gonna be enough just yet, set up for the Oki. Okay, yeah, it seems like, uh, seems like Ike Sheamus wants as much life as possible, yeah, wake up heat unfortunately. Full combo, not gonna be enough just yet, but still backlash in a really good position. That charge 5B again, catching Ike Sheamus, and uh, we have one round away from backlash taking this game over Ike Sheamus with the character switch. Oh man, Makoto Fox, the absolute lord, with the raid of 196 people. Thank you so much. This is uh, our Chicago local for Melty Blood, Type Lumina. Thank you everybody for tuning in. And uh, yeah, this is not going to be enough just yet. Great Oki on Wake Up. Okay, yeah, kind of Ike Sheamus trying to call out anything he can with the Wake Up TP. Oh no, Wake Up TP <laughs> right back. And that goes to Backlash 2-0 over Ike Sheamus. Yeah, that was nice. Again, thank you so much to uh, Makoto Fox for um, rating us again. Uh, this is the Chicago local. Uh, we are always happy to have new people come in. We are always happy to have people watching our Melty Blood locals here. It's our second week in a row that we're doing some Melty Blood. And up next, we are having the Arm versus Legacy, I believe. Okay, the Arm is on player two side. I don't want to touch this stuff too much. But I'm the only one on commentary. Great. Oops. Okay, go see. This is arm. Yeah, the arm definitely using uh, Akiha. Um, they have taught me a lot about Akiha. She's a. Uh, Kind of really interesting character um, and has a lot of fun stuff. I really like playing her. But yeah, we're going into it. Legacy on player one side, uh, the arm on player two. Uh, definitely no arm is playing Akiha against Red Arc. I think this is the first Red Arc we've seen in this tournament so far. Uh, Hoodless is. I don't know if Hoodless is here. Uh, <laughs> I definitely know Hoodless is not playing this game. Rin Arc, yeah, the Rin uh, Akiha color is really nice. 
Ooh, nice interruption. Full conversion, pushing the arm back towards the corner. Legacy, yeah, trying to go for the empty jump low with the arm ready to call out with shield. Really nice going to the air throw. Able to set up the ring. No follow up there. Yeah, really nice using the arc drive. Just kind of call out anything the arm was trying to do in the air. She's on a grounded hit as well. Going to the rapid beat, throwing out the ring. Yeah, really nice awareness from the arm. Uh, oh man, the jump in from uh, jumping from the arm to not gonna kill just yet. Still able to uh, set up the ring and able to call out the heat on wake up with shield. Uh, just that low shield too. It doesn't really matter if you low shielded or high shielded. You can kind of call that out. Uh, but the arm taking the first round over Legacy, who is using red arc. Uh, ooh, fatal counter! Oh my god, that was a great fatal counter too! That was that like instant jump, uh, like jump A, just to push Legacy back towards the corner. Oh man, IAD into jump B. Really nice, setting up the ring again. Legacy just holding down back, making love to down back, recovering in air, and that is going to be our first game for the arm. Yeah, the arm is just able to kind of recognize a lot of the stuff that Legacy is trying to do, especially like escaping from the corner, escaping from a lot of Aki's, pre Aki's pressure in the corner. Um, uh, and yeah, that, uh, that's our first game for the arm. Showing up the ring again! 2C into the charge by B! Okay, 5C into 6C. Showing out the ring! Full combo there! Again, 5C, 6C! Oh my god, what a great air throw! The arm is so, so dominant in everything that he's doing right now. Okay, Legacy getting a little life back. Yeah, throwing the air fireball, but wow, that, that low shield just calls him out. Yeah, grab, really nice grab. Uh, the arm one game away from taking it over Legacy here. The movement before the round. Legacy a little afraid to press any buttons on the uh, land back there. Nice. Yeah, I think uh, Legacy was good there, kind of air dashing to call out the low shield. Nice, set up here. Oh, that was nice from the leg from Legacy, but uh, the arm patient but not patient enough for Legacy to get this full combo here. Oh no, he just went into jump 2Z! Okay, ah, Legacy, arc drive, nice! Oh, but the arm, I don't know if the arm's gonna like fully convert this year. It, it's kind of a little hard to come back. Yeah, Matt, you see, trying to call out that charge 5B and uh, Legacy able to just etch out this round here over the arm. Okay, no air throw. Bring out air fireball. I think Legacy, oh my god, the awareness from the arm to just kind of cancel into 236Z. Nice, 5C to 6C set up here. Able to cheat out of it on oh, the moon skill TP. 2A, 2A. Wow, gets the follow up as well from the moon skill. Not gonna be enough, still gonna get the setup here on wake up. Oh, the charge 5C, that was so good from the arm. Yeah, I think uh, Legacy was really good in trying to get any way he can come back from that uh, from that match against Akiha, but a lot of the stuff just kind of not really able to uh, call it that match up there. And uh, lo and behold, we have our we have our uh, our winner from the match we just saw on stream. The arm. How's it going? Oh, uh, okay. You should be able to talk. What's up, dude? Yeah, uh, what's up? That was fun. Yeah, that's fun. I bet you've played a bunch of Red Arc. Um. Yeah. Not particularly, Not actually. Particularly? It's okay. actually a character I haven't really seen a ton of. I mean, obviously, I've seen a ton on like streams and stuff because mm -hmm. she's very popular, but like, only a little bit of uh, online experience with her. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but uh, really nice showing there. That was 2-0 against Legacy. I think he was doing some really good stuff against yeah, you, yeah, yeah. just to kind of. But like, I think I, I was just kind of you know. driving the pace like yep. really, really fast, yep. and it's like that's kind of a thing in Melty Blood. People can just run away with pace on you. Like it's yes. it's. So hard to keep up, like sometimes when people are going super fast and like mm -hmm. split second things are happening, you get yep. shielded and blasted back. It's like, oh shit, what just happened? Yeah, yeah, it's it, it not people not used to like the pace of matches. In oh yeah, blood yeah, as well. It's and just, especially like the the 
the weak spots of like movement, right? Like mm. that's the the big part of like melting. I've been trying to like explain to people like I can't anti air, I can't anti air, I can't anti air. I'm like, bro, <laughs> yeah. bro, the landing is the weakness. Yep. Not yep. the move itself. You don't try to beat their fucking broken jump C or whatever mm -hmm. you know they're coming down with. You yeah, just target yeah, the yeah. landing, bro. Just gotta target the landing. Be a little more aware of a lot of air yeah. approaches as well. Just, like a lot you gotta of move are, out of the way sometimes. Yeah. Like, a lot of people <laughs> are using like three C as well to yeah, and it clashes and then they get tight. Yeah. I'm like, bro, this <laughs> is not the way, bro. <laughs> Not the way. Yep. I mean, shield is really, really good. It's like a reactive because you can do that as late as possible. And yep. Still be, still be okay. So but yeah, like, we have a, our next match here. Brightside, a well-known SNK player. Oh, that's true. Um, yeah. You know, KOF as well as Samurai Shodan gets Emily. This is like uh, we see a bunch played, of arc. Yeah, yeah. I think a bunch of arc. Uh, she has played a lot of Tekken. Well known for playing Tekken as well. But uh, she's coming back in this game. She really likes. I was talking with her earlier. Uh, she really does like CL. Um, and Brightside going with arc, going with the character they made purposely. For <laughs> nice shield. Oh, shield. Yeah, really nice shield on the IAD. Yeah, gets the relaunch combo, yeah. some mid screen space, throws some projectiles. Seal's all about like space control with projectiles yes. and stuff in this game. Yeah, she has a lot of great movement as well. Yeah. You know, in a game that has great movement options for pretty much every single character, and Seal has, you know, the option to utilize that movement even more. Yeah, and she has one of the best like uh, anti zoning supers in, oh, in the whole yeah, game. She can just reaction to it for one bar. Oh, smacked up. Counter, yeah. Brightside's able to... Oh, no! Backs off, cut, drops the combo, I guess. Oh, uh, got the him. The stagger on the Rekka Can't there. finish, yeah, though. Nice. One, one mix. Uh-oh. Yeah, wake up. Able to get uh, a lot of her life back here. Oh, baited. Oh, wow! Such the a good double bait. jump. That was old school That bait. was so sick. The double jump on the wake that, up burst. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That looks. That looked exactly like a like an M back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. NBA ACC. Yeah, shit. Yeah, hey, yeah hey, that hey, was so sick. Bait, yeah. Okay, nice DP on wake up. Oh, the charge there. Yeah, it was really good for Emily. Yeah, Emily's in there right now. And she's able to kind of get away as well, uh, utilizing a lot of CL's movement, oh, canceling yeah. the arc drive. Yeah, really That's nice. really good because like if they get hit by those daggers in Moon Drive, you, you chunk them. Yes. You destroy yes, you their do. health bar. Yep. Pushing nice. over to the corner. Yeah, Brightset has that awareness to kind of shield. Uh-oh, big Lock. bait. Fuck, yeah, that's going to be a big punish, too, carrying Emily towards the corner. Oh, that's why. Oh, oh, that's why. God, that's man. why. I understand. Kind of Brightside showing, Brightside showing that, like, classic Ooh, kind of... Oh, got him. Oh, that was sick. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was really, really good. Okay, one round for each of these players here. Burn our magic circuit. Nice. Brightside looking, looking a lot more comfortable now after mm -hmm. that last round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He kind of took that first round to gather what Emily was able to do and uh, providing his. Ooh, oh, nice B. Nice yeah. B counter. Uh oh, here we go. That's 2 VC. Yeah. That yeah. move is so yeah. crazy. Yeah. So good. Okay, nice wake up first. Oh, what a. Oh, oh got the back no! dash. What a catch on the back dash. Yeah, back dashes in this game all, all, get clipped all the time because of whip cancel. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, we got a war. We got a shield battle. Emily winning that shield battle, corner pushing bright sides over the corner. Oh, it baited again! Emily is so good at baiting these wake up bursts. Wake up team. Oh, that's a punish. That's a punish. Burst. Yeah, that's a nice punish, yeah. Not a, like literally no meter at all for Brightside to oh, utilize. This is rough. Yeah, this is I, really rough. Is this enough? She no, gets a combo. I don't think it's, enough. Don't think it's nope. enough though, yeah. Uh oh, here a moon drive comes out. Yeah, moon drive. Emily kind of aware, activating moon Burning drive. All her resources. Really good. Oh, not gonna catch. She can the super though. Oh yeah, she she, she, can, she can even do the, the dive into level three. Mm -hmm. I think Emily was just trying to get any kind of life back, get the yeah, life yeah, lead. Oh, another heat. Yeah, bright uh -oh. side delaying. Wake Is this up enough? There. Level three? No, didn't get it off in time. Still enough. Still enough. Yes. Yep. Nice. First Ooh. game going to bright side over Emily. I've been saying um, to, to people that round threes in this game are the craziest. They're so crazy. They're yeah. like insanity. Like you got people popping blood mm -hmm. heats and mm -hmm. two moons are going <laughs> on at the same time. It's, it's like and everybody like reacting to the blood heat yeah, is like, yeah. all right, I don't want to press buttons. But yeah. you still get blown up. You get trapped by arc like this yeah. with a full conversion off of the regular grab. Yeah, nice jump into the instant air dash. Nice. Not, oh, 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 got him. Really good. Yeah, he uses that B follow up from the shield to get the fatal counter. That's 2BC all day. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, yeah. Gonna get the clash there in favor of Bright Side. Oh, another mix. What's yeah. it gonna be? Oh. oh, my God, on the different side. Gets grabbed. Emily not in a good spot right now. Yeah. Bright Side's game plan is like pretty simple, but it's, it's good. Simple like, yet effective. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Oh, baiting, baiting DP there, 100%. Wow, the clash going into Brightside's favor. So much life against Emily, nearly losing half life here. And there's, a, there's the blood heat. Yeah, nice popping blood heat. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, no! no! <laughs> Brightside pressing a button and Emily is able to get the last arc. This is going to be half health. Yeah, this is a lot. Look at all this health this, just this last arc right is now. wild. Yep. Blow her oh out. Oh, my God. Yep. Now we get Look to go at in. all this life just gone. Emily in such an advantageous. What a treat. Oh, a no. The clash in the air. Uh-oh. Right side back in there. No. Here comes the mix again. Yeah, trying to get on the other side. Oh, yep. next up, next up. Down. Okay. Another force release. So big DP base. So big. Right level three. Level three. Is this? Right I don't think it's enough. No, it might not be. Not enough, not enough, not enough. This hurts. Oh, oh it's it so really close. It really does hurt. not enough. Moon drive? No. Oh, the wake up. Emily is so... Emily is still alive here. Somehow, somehow. Oh, it's oh, over. Oh, no. Overhead. What that a... is going to be it. Yeah, Emily trying her best to keep alive in this bracket, but not yeah. enough against Brightside. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll look really close to back in. Uh, I'll tell you if you want to stay on. Or uh, something. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have our, uh, our stream master hopping on here. But yeah, that was a great match between Emily and yeah. Brightside. Uh, but Brightside taking a 2 0 against Emily. What's right. up, man? How you doing? Doing good. Yeah. Doing good. Uh, thanks for all the, the tips and shit. So I feel bad I didn't enter this because, um, you know, Grand Blue, like I got to play sure. Grand Blue. Sure. Uh, and then there wasn't enough for Grand Blue. And oh. the reason I didn't enter was like uh, when we played the other day, right? I was hella spaghetti hands. Like my hands sure, would yeah. not dial out the right strings when I got the hits. Uh -huh. And I thought it was going to still be like that. And then me and Jolly played before and everything was coming out. And I was like, shit, I should have played Melty. <laughs> like I messed up. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this game. Yeah, the game's dope. Akiha is so freaking yeah, cool. Yeah, no, Akiha is, Akiha is very fun. I know we talked about it. It was like the, the best way I could put it is like on paper, brain-wise, Akiha is like not who I thought to play. I was She's like, definitely high brain, high effort. Uh, Co like compared to the, the cast in this game, for sure. But hands-wise, this character just feels crazy good to play. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have Elvin Shadow, TO of Frosty Fostings. Yeah, he was talking to me. He said he's he was like sad James because wasn't here. He was like, oh, I wanted to watch someone play Maids. I, I forgot to even mention that James is just a saber player now. But you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel like uh, we actually had a surprising number of players sort of change mains in this one week, right? Compared to the the week one tournament we had last week. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's like I mean, I should have learned how to play Shiki in in like yeah a couple days. It's it's like this game is just built in a way that you can literally just pick up a character and play them and like do their auto combos to start and then be like oh they're cool yeah i like their neutral buttons i like the way they move i like this stuff you know and then you can be like oh well i'll just fill in the auto combos with better combos i think i i know we've discussed this uh my feeling on the game is that like i feel like it's kind of hard manually like doing the the apm is very high compared to what i'm used to oh sure well the pacing uh, the pace of this game is like yeah. crazy like but the game itself is very straightforward like i always understand exactly why i lost after a match uh -oh. okay elvin setting up shop got hisui yeah my question is how much of the dirt do you think he knows is well, he, he going to have the, the unblockables he, he, he said he has like a like a, a ghetto unblockable and yeah. like that's about it he hasn't really been, been playing like too much you're not going to see any crazy crazy made stuff he's just playing them because Hisui is the item character bro oh. uh, did he at all mention why he chose Hisui and Kahaku as opposed to just solo Hisui um well i think he he was saying that because it's like just cheap right like yeah 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 like, he was playing uh, Solo Hisui before because of item toss. Yeah. But, uh, like, you can play Hisui with plant, you know, like stuff like that. Like, <laughs> Young Fu, though. Oh, the counter heat pushing uh, Elven Shadow back in the corner. Oh, he did. Yeah. That ended up being a really good decision. Uh, effectively, like, an offensive burst. Uh, yeah. Popping heat right when Elven ran in after his just to force him back into the corner. Pretty heads up stuff from Kung Fu oh, here. You saw you saw that DP? You know that what, what that is? That's Shiki trying to do dashing 236 B. Okay. Every time you see it, it's like it's like cursed because his 236 B is like God, right? Oh. It's like such a godly godlike move. So you would want to do dashing 236 B all the time, but you run into the buffer and get random DP. Oh, uh, whip punish with the 2A. Nice pickup by Elven Shadow there. Get chucked. Laying down Dead. the picnic baskets. Oh yeah, too close. He's got that meterless DP. 
Kasui though has like no reversal unless she burns Moon Drive. Then she has the the ladle. But like, not only is his DP meter like real without meter, uh, it is also gigantic in terms of boxes. If you get over his head, you can go over it, but it reaches surprisingly yeah. far forward. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like a. There's a lot of DPs in this game that have like that vertical hitting spot, but they also like can't be low profile yeah. anymore. <laughs> is this five A a mid? Is it a stand? It's a mid. Okay. It's like sad because all the standing lows that they used to be standing lows are just like standing okay. mids now. That's us running. So the five A's that look like they're standing lows used to be basically. They used to be mids. Okay. So they used to be lows. Yeah. Oh, nice. Shield like Aki play. has used to be a low. Shiki's used to be a low. Seal has had low five B. All those moves are mids now. All right, Blood Heat. Ooh, they're brave. Elvin's got to be careful here. Elvin is not swinging into... Oh, he could have yeah, countered yeah. that. He could have countered the Vento. I forgot. He could have gotten the uh, last arc right there. Now, does his last arc have enough forward movement to chase her Bro, down? Bro, last arcs don't aim. Oh, they, they just, just go to where you are? They just hit the screen. Wow. Yeah, they I just hit that. the screen, bro. There's no aiming at all. Like, you literally shield anything anywhere and you get a last arc, even if it's a counter shield. Wow. It's crazy, yeah. A little too far. Yeah, good spacing there. Elven Shadow with the wave punish. Doesn't get a lot for it. It's funny because Kyung Fu doesn't really know how to approach. Like, I don't think he, he's kind of just, like, sitting there. I think uh, the Double Maids, too, is still kind of a semi rare character. I haven't seen a ton. Oh, my God. Well, a lot of the, the people who notoriously pick top tier characters have, are, are playing this character. Yeah, I saw Goichi playing. Uh, well, Goichi, Goichi doesn't count because he played literally everybody by now. <laughs> he literally has, like, if you open yeah. a stream on any given day, it's a new character. It's a different character, yeah. I, was, I saw him learning Coma two days ago. I was like, okay, word. All right, 1 0 Elven Shadow. Yeah. Elvin, you see how Elvin's playing. The pace is like super slow. He's like. It is very fast. Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, except with no buttons, so he's just yeah, sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Faustian, but that's an actual word that means something different, so right, right, <laughs> I, had to, right. I had to dial back the grammar a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elvin blocks it out. Kung Fu, oh, not big a, chair, big chair. Yeah, Kung Fu uh, not even really doing the reverse beat there, just kind of dialing out and letting the pushback handle it and getting scoops. Oh, oh. and the IA, uh, ID. Yeah, Elvin playing nice and confident now. He's not really rushing it, but he's taking the hits when he gets them. Okay, patience. Yeah, and again, like you said, just willing to lame it out here. Nice, that's it. Easy combo, no problem. All right, Elvin moving on to match point here. Uh-oh. You can knock down. That knockdown when you're really far away is like, yeah, it's nothing, really. It's just a bit. That's sort of why I don't like doing the double BC, jump. BC, yeah, 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 I like just doing the air throw off of the first rep. Now I don't even I don't even do first rep with Aki. I, 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 I literally three C yeah, air throw. I was gonna say yeah, I, I I do the same thing, but I don't know how many characters have the equivalent of you know jump canceling the end of the air throw into to Oki. Well, but in general, you're gonna be is, closer. The thing is, it's way harder to safe jump if you do BC air throw instead of like just three C air throw. Okay. So like a lot of characters like I mean most. Akia doesn't really need the safe jump in a yeah. lot of situations, but like a lot of characters do, right? So it's like, okay, there's an opportunity for Kung Fu. What was that? Moon Dry. Oh, uh, I think he tried to burn in uh, a moon, moon skill. Yeah, moon skill, and accidentally got neutral. I do that sometimes. Nice air grab. Hell yeah! Oh, this is gonna be a big punish. Yes. Uh -oh. Burns the C. Here's the key. and hey. nice. Elvin mixed himself up. You yeah. saw that? He, he made he. <laughs> He made the other character invisible and then got anti-air. Young Fu, uh, being actually really liberal with the moon skills and yes. kind of as such, he has no moon meter coming into this last round. Like, this is potentially his last life here. Yeah. Very low on resources. Nice throw. Can I grab, though? Good pressure. Oh, oh, he tried to be a little cheeky there. I think it was an accident. I didn't even want to throw, actually, honestly. Oh, yeah, and he maybe plinked it. Yeah. Can you cancel normals into shield, or can you only shield at neutral? You can you can whip cancel into shield. Okay. That's, yeah, that's how the Hito has worked. Moon drive, yeah, resets the pressure. Getting the grab. Another one, caught the shield. Trying to stay alive oh, with the yeah. Abare. Yeah, 2A on wake up. Let's go. That was the Guilty Gear player. I'm not going down without yeah. mashing, bro. Uh oh, I you're dead. Wish that lunches just tracked to me. In real life, like I oh, just be chilling. I just be chilling, and, and yeah, picnic, picnic just comes to me. I mean. <laughs> All right, well, Elvin was doing so good, and then one errant jump gets clipped by a moon skill, and he goes to game three. 
That's the thing with Shiki. You, you got to be like super careful yeah. with your jumps because he is so good at just just air unblockable and you out of nowhere. I think just like as right a general there, so. concept too, when you're firmly in control of a set and then something just rupts that, it can take a minute to get your brain back. Is he going to back throw here? Take the side switch? No, he's going to burn the C there. Nice. Uh, Could have got a little more, but still in there. Oh, big jump in, but a little too far for the 2A. Well, that's like not, that's like a special move jump in, or like a special jump in. So yeah. It's like not the same. Alvin. It's the EX knockdown. Burns their bar. Oh. Good block. Still has the corner. Wow. Big 2A. Young Fu is dying. Uh -oh. oh, no, not able to get the ender there. He might have gone for, he might have thought the last hit was going to give him that, finish off that bar so he could get his EX knocked uh -oh. down. But not the case. And oh, he's getting hit. Comeback. He's getting hit. Oh, he's and the grab, yeah, that's going to do it. And yeah. what a turnaround. Kung Fu is that's... now on match point. In this game, it's so easy to just get ran back. Like, you know, someone hits you three times in a row and you just lost. Doesn't matter what your health was, right? Like, and I, I think, at least in my opinion, I feel like the the reversal window is like mildly tight. It's not like old really? gear tight. I think it's like extreme free in this game. Maybe, maybe it's not the the size of it. I don't know where it is. I have trouble finding it, right? Like, well, you know, you know, shield is just infinite buffer, right? Oh, you just hold it. You can literally hold shield in block string or wake up, and it'll come out frame one. Wow, I didn't know that. Sick. Um. But the normal buffer, I think, is three frames. So you have, and there's like a, I don't know, I think there's like a two extra yeah. frame or something. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Kumpo has a game. pretty solid life lead here, but he burned all his resources. That is a fortunate trade for him. And a clash. Damn. Now he's bringing out the 5C unblock. That's like weird time, but he's and winning. Grabs. Oh, and Elvin. there it is, just the 2A. Yeah. yeah, I think that Elvin read one more grab and yeah, yeah, yeah. just held up. Yeah. Be that so, way. Kung Fu, uh, a little scrambly, but able to clutch it out at the end. So good stuff. Going to be moving on in winners. Yeah, it was interesting how he like just kind of just pulled new moves out, like in different yeah. rounds. <laughs> like you know, he, he didn't use five C at all, and then all of a sudden, the like, last game. But I mean, that's that's row. sort of the point, right? The, the sure, adjustments yeah, no, I'm, back I'm and just, forth. I'm just like, saying, it's yeah. like, oh, okay, that's that's, 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 uh, that's the real strats. You sandbag the first game. <laughs> Don't show them half your moves. Oh, me and Macho gonna play. Um, keep ending up in tournaments. Yeah, but first I see Chris Chaos coming, so I believe we have Mars and Chris Chaos. Mars, I uh, talked to him a little bit today. He said he's having a lot of fun with the game. Uh, he definitely had a big uh, uni background. Uh, yeah, he, he says the game feels like uni with jumps, and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, right? I, I I feel like there's a fairly even mix of the prior three games, really? right? Like there's, I, I, I feel I like there's like very little uni, but. I, I, I think the uni I mean, it has, outside it has of shield, changes, maybe. You know, yeah, like yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, 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 it's like the pe how they say it, it's like DBFZ, right? Where because just because of B follow up on shield, they're like, oh, it's vanish. Oh, sure, so, sure. You need me for. Uh, which one is this? These are the qualifiers? You can, you can give me all these in winners. Yeah, and then just run losers off. All right, so. Yeah, I, I see a little bit of DFC, I see a little bit of Uni, and I see, I mean, it's obviously mostly Melty, but I, I do think there's recognizable traits of their other games. I, the the pacing, now you, you would know better. I mean, the pacing to me seems sort of in between Uni and Melty. It doesn't seem full on. Really? Old, uh, I mean, old I think Melty the pacing to me is, looks is like pretty, it moves 100 miles an hour. It's pretty Melty, I, honestly. Like, yeah. I, I think the pacing has nothing to do with Uni, honestly. Like, people don't play like that defensively <laughs> yeah that's true everyone in uni is like literally forced to play defensively because of the system mechanics all right players getting the console but, figured out i mean i do understand what you're saying where they have like you know a little bit of elements from things and stuff you know so the good thing is i don't know if they launched it on the correct account but if they didn't, yeah. thankfully, there's nothing to unlock in this game. So yeah. it doesn't matter. They could just jump in and play. That I think that is actually my favorite part about this game right now. After like three years of unlocking checking DLC servers and, and unlocking color. And you know, you know me, dude. I've done it on yeah. like, I own seven PS4s. And any game I have on them, anything that can be unlocked without paying for it, yeah. I have done. Right. I've, got, I've done Grand Blue Story Mode. 100% five times. I've done Blaze Blue full unlocks six times. I've done everything, everything you can do. This game, you just boot it up and you play it. Yeah, sick. Hell yeah. Now, uh, the, the netcode is good. The uh, yeah. you know it feels good online. Like there's a lot. Oh, 
And it looks like the coma, the coma, not a big surprise coming from Mars, but yeah, Chris Mars, with the Roa. Mars always be playing some meme meme characters. But uh, yeah, I mean, I knew I knew Chris was playing Roa. He's been he's been playing him. I mean, this character is pretty ignorant. I don't know if you've how I haven't much Roa seen, you've no, seen. I have not seen uh, Roa at all yet. So so, I'm, I'm so basically, he has these two special moves. That one right there, yeah. where he can whip cancel them into each other, right? Oh, like so he can forth. catch you running in, trying to approach yeah. after the whip. Oh, and wow. then he has that move, which is like Alpha Blade, Alpha Blade which yeah. is super godlike. And it makes case. sense why the ship player might uh, check that out. And that move is crazy. What? Yes. The wall that, bounce full screen. Yes, okay. That, that's like one of the best move skills in the game, like mad obvious. Oh, and that wasn't even a C nor uh, a C special. That was yeah, just that was the a moon skill. skill. That was a moon skill. Uh oh, Mars is getting in trouble here already. Oh, yo, jump C. Yeah, Coma Charge jump C is like crazy. The heat, oh, kind of expensive here. Chris also oh working on meter, God. but Mars, Mars is down to bed. It. Let's go. Going into one mix. That was good timing too, because I mean his heat was got basically him. gone. Got him. And he got that last moment arc drive off and able to turn the round around just off yep. that. Uh oh. Okay. Gets that the air, air gravy, but. but yeah. Good recognition of the non counter hit, not trying to chase the pickup too hard. Uh oh. Yeah, it's unblockable. You have to stand shield that move. Mad cheat. Now, can you shield uh, command grabs in general? No. Okay. That's I know, just I a, that's, you can... that's a, like legit unblockable. Like you can do it okay. in block stun. He actually has unblockable setups where like he does. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, move yeah. into moon drive and then it's, it's unblocked. Oh, has that overhead? That move is. He has no low there, so it's just like his third record is just overhead. Oh, well, yeah. Scoop. Yeah. yeah. And Mars taking game one. Chris started really strong, but uh, I think. After that arc drive uh, in the heat, Mars just kind of turned it on, didn't look back in that game. Nice. Yeah. Get punish there again. Yeah, keep and going. caught the forward tech. Yeah, Mars being a little too antsy there. Yeah. I mean, he, he, he's, he's trying to get in. He, has, nice he, he doesn't care about all this nonsense. He's still trying to get in. Able to armor out. Chris still able to collect, though, the air to air counter hit. Yeah, still, still trying to get in. Mars burning the DP. Chris staying back. Nice back dash, but does get counter hit there. Yep. Mars got in. Mars ain't never stopped going in. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, 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 well. Nice. Good. Punish in the Damn. pickup. That actually punished hard. That's crazy. Good shit. That move is so good. All right. Well, Chris picks up a, picks up a round. Yeah. Good presence of mind on the punish. Nice. Oh. Oof. That's a bad round start. Yeah. Gets the pickup. Damn. Look. This character does a lot of damage. Yeah. It's chonky. All right. Oh, my God. Chris is exploding. Nice. Moon drive, catches the grab out, takes out command grab super, yeah. <laughs> he was like nowhere near him. Okay. Oh my jump C, dude. Jump C is so crazy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have like a lot of respect for those armored jump C's in this game. They're they are like will blow you out constantly. Now, does he have to charge it or is it oh, just yeah. his regular JC's? Okay. Actually, I'm not sure if it's regular. Yeah, what what already. of Comas is armored? I know not everything is. Um, well, he has that move. That move is definitely armored. Um, the fire explosion, the charge moves are all all uh, armored. Mars? I don't know. I think he has armor on a couple other things too. Mars is actually the first player I've seen do the the micro key charge. They're trying to get a little bit of extra meter. Yeah, I mean it's not a huge. Amount. Oh god. That's gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Both players already it. up. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, don't even let the animation play out. Done deal. Mars moving on in winners. All right, and I see Macho stepping up, so I oh, believe that is your turn. Going to be the arm versus Macho coming up next. Welcome back. Hello, hello. Everybody tuning in to some uh, Chicago Melty. How's it going? I saw some Roa, Chris Chaos. Wow. Yeah, uh, he was looking good. And then uh, Mars just kind of turned on the Jets. But we're going to yeah. have uh, all the next three matches, uh, that one included, and then the next three are all of our uh, winners qualifiers for top eight. Uh, so some of our better players going to be stepping up to the plate. Nice. And uh, <laughs> as soon as I say that, I mean, we have Macho and yeah. the arm. Uh, not just melty players just two of our better <laughs> yeah. players in chicago you know macho like he made uh top eight online for evo for strive 
a very notable Soul Calibur player as well as a very noble Uni player. As also well. a very notable Marvel uh, Infinite player. Oh yeah, absolutely. If I remember correctly, I I want to say he won an Evo side tournament for Marvel Infinite. Maybe maybe I'm making that up. I I feel like he did very I well. I don't think at, you're making that Evo. up. No. Um, but yeah, uh, Macho we know great car like player in a lot of games, especially anime games as well. But the arm consistent anime game player has a lot of knowledge in a lot of games. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I think uh, you know with Strive, Strive was sort of a foray. Not the first one because Macho did play Grand Blue mm -hmm. a decent bit at launch. Uh, but Macho, while he had played anime games, had been playing mostly Uni, right? He had been yes. playing French Red specifically, yep. where the arm, uh, a bit more well-rounded, right? He's played pretty much everything. All the Arxis games, he's played Old Melty. Yep. I'm pretty sure he's played our kind of heart. Like, mm -hmm. he's uh, gone, gone pretty hard on most anime fighters, uh, which, honestly, I recommend that people do. You learn strategies. Yeah. You always take something away from a game to bring into your other games. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Macho, going with Vlav, uh, he says that Vlav is bad. Macho picked him, so you know he's fucked up. Oh, um, yeah. No, I played long sets with Macho like two days ago, and Macho said he was just like not a good character, but he just fucked me up like 20 games in a row. And the two of us might be slightly biased. Uh, the arm's showing the Akio, <laughs> yeah. Jolly and myself, both Akio players, yeah. so I'm excited to see what the goods are. Him and I talked about this before. Yeah, you just see 3C straight into air grab, doesn't burn the extra normals. Able to escape there, did do a 6C straight oh, yeah, to the shield. Yeah, you kind of see that the arm was doing that double no. overhead. Right. Wow. Oh, I, yeah, misjudged the pop fly there. I actually think he was being a little aggressive trying to pick up with uh, 2C there. I find yep. that a little bit harder compared to 5C. Mm -hmm. I think 5C charge B as the air pickup is really easy. And I'm all about the easy shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, the it's super easy, late jump. Like, wake up options. Wow, yeah, Macho just showing so much knowledge, especially with but the wake up 2A? character. Yeah, nice wake up 2A. Is he going to spend anything here? No, it looks like he's just going to yeah, take the knockdown. Taking the knockdown. Really good. Kind of BNB for Akio. Wow, and he shielded the, oh. the heat. All of Macho's meter in the garbage, and he got punished for the round. Like, it's just so much advantage for the arm, especially with that wake yeah. up option against Heat. Blob, though, after he loses a round, does get the Ice Moan, so he's going to have a bit of a buff here. You can see it there, right? Oh, he got Ooh, the go, basic wow. blob! That was crazy! He, he waited for him to fall. Too. Yeah, waited for him to fall on the other side, got the pickup, and now Macho is in the Vortex. C-Ring, B-Ring. Hey, went into the DP just to get that Oki on Wake Up. And spending the C-Ring. Oh, oh yeah. my god, the IAD into the jump B. That was so good for the arm. Yeah, he spent the Moon Skill Fireball, uh, the, the 6BC. He was able to reestablish the pressure and then just went with the IED, caught, yep. caught the Macho trying to crouch shield. Yep. I genuinely, genuinely have to like sit and talk with the arm about how he handled this matchup. Yeah, because when I I have not played this matchup, but He's, just when I saw Vlav yeah. and I played Akia, I was like, I don't see how she could possibly get in. But mm -hmm. you can see it's the IEDs. Yeah, the good especially timing. like especially when he gets that BC air throw and he kind of sets up the B fireball, he gets the IAD what as well. Up. Okay. Oh, oh it was a great B. All right, I feel better about that. Yeah. Oh, again, you saw that he set up the B ring instant air dash into yeah. the jump B. Wow, that was so good. Not afraid to spend the meter two. Did nope. the uh, 6C into A ring, into C ring. Mm -hmm. And you see the arm is just not pushed back all the way into the, the kind of zoning that Blob wants to do. Oh, oh good shield. And again, he's gotten gosh. the BC follow up pretty consistently. And this is going to be, oh, OK, a little too high. Yeah, that is actually a slightly tricky. You got to delay the follow up a, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and you see that you know Masha went for the, the moon drive cancel, but the arm went for the moon drive cancel right back to kind of negate any kind of follow up you wanted to have off of that. Yeah, I think that's a good spend in order to maintain the corner. But yep. Macho did eventually get out. Now he's getting some good damage here. Really good damage. No follow up. But he's a good, this is where Blob wants to be, right? Yep. Wow, nice high jump. The super jump is so good from the arm. Yeah, the super jump a little bit unintuitive compared to a lot of games. It only uh -huh. goes forward. It's more yeah. It's more like a uh, like a super hop, right? And you can kind of see like the arm set up a lot of the Oki there with the high ring. But nice Blob, challenge. You know, Macho was still able to get out of the corner. Nice. I think the arm yeah. might have been looking for like two and four A, two, yep. three, six C, trying yep. to set up pressure and a really good challenge on it. Oh wow, got the B follow-up. 
Oh, kept yeah. himself safe after the drop. Did the C-ring able to actually yep. reestablish and did it again? Not wow. Oh, that throw back towards the corner. Macho, a great block from Macho. Macho made a really good escape there, but the arm was just two steps ahead, oh. and that's gonna do it. Just absolute domination against a player we know has been so good in a bunch of other games. But wow, the arm just... No, I, I mean, I think the both of us, if we sat down against Mancho right now, we'd both get like 20 owed. Oh, 100%. Like, yeah. For free. No, I got 20 owed like... <laughs> I got 20 owed the other day just playing against Mancho. But yeah, just two players who are very, very knowledgeable in a lot of games just going against each other. It was a great match. But the arm showing so much dominance, so much knowledge in Melty Blood against... Macho, who has a lot of knowledge from French Break games, like you said, trying to bring it over to this game as well. But, oh man, again, the arm, so, so good. Do you need me? All right, they need me for Stride. Right. I think our next match is going to be Kung Fu uh, versus Backlash. Okay. Let me try to confirm that. Well, if you want to tap in uh, the arm once again to uh, commentate here. Yeah, all right, I'm going to play my Stride match, uh, and then I'll confirm who's coming up. And I will hold it down again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who is tuning in to some fantastic Chicago Melty Blood type Lumina action. Uh, I am Jolly Phobic. Again, thank you very much. And uh, soon we will have. <laughs> it's been weird. Like every time you've gone up on stream, you're going to hop right back into commentary. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, I'm moving along in the tournament, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was so good. That blob matchup, like, it, if I get full screen, like, it's it's pretty annoying yeah, for Akiha, I'm not so gonna lie, annoying. honestly, because like you you like a lot of characters have moves that like own the ground, you know, it's like to approach uh -huh. on the ground. Akiha just doesn't, right? Like you no. have to jump. Yeah. Like you, you literally have to use air movement and uh -huh. it's like then you put yourself in danger of the wreck. <laughs> yep. I think you were like utilizing super jump so well because in this game super jump to. is is not uh, you can't super jump neutral. You can't neutral super jump. Right, it's jump. always the same it, direction. It's always forward. Yeah. But right? it's, it's the absolute most important movement yeah. option against Vlog. Because yeah. if he does the ground wave, you just hit him. Yeah. And if he does uh, the fireballs, you can usually just block him in the air. And if you're like trying a, any sort of run up and you get hit by, you know, the low kind of ground. Oh, it sucks. Uh, it, it just sucks because you get the full <laughs> screen conversion off of it. Yeah, it just sucks. Yeah. And it's same like, thing with trying to shield it. Like if you, if you shield and then you're like wrong and he hits the recovery, it just sucks. Yep. It's like, damn. That sucks so bad. Yeah, I played long sets against Mach, and I was like, what the hell am I doing? Just blob. Yeah, I, I keep running into him in tournaments, too. Like, we, we were in <laughs> yeah. grand finals of the Sunday tournament, was, was me and Vlog, yeah, me that. and Macho. Oh, God. Yeah, we are going to have Backdash, uh, back, Backlash? Yeah, Backlash versus. Kung Fu uh, she arc. versus Arc. Yeah. This, is a, this is a fun matchup because they have all these cute voice lines together. And stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have those <laughs> unique voice lines, yeah, like specific to the yeah, visual yeah. novel. Yeah. Yeah, ABC, air throw, nice. wake up Heath. Wow, yeah, he really wanted that life oh, back. Oh, cash out. No, he could have no, gotten on again. I think a lot of ca like players are not cashing out. Dude, as at soon all. as that shit touches, you just input I that super. I'm doing super. I'm doing arc drive. Why am I not doing arc drive? You got the three hit combo to confirm too. I know, too, exactly. Because Nania is so crazy. So I, like, crazy. If, if people don't know. Oh, the, the shield. Yeah, shield wars. If people don't know what I'm talking about, when, yep. when Shiki hits his arc drive, he gets uh, four new moves. Yes. And yes, they're all crazy. <laughs> yeah. If you don't know, in the AACC, there was a another Shiki called Nania Shiki, yeah. who had certain moves where he can do the banana, he can do that kind of like this invisible little teleport. Dash. Yeah, it's yeah, like a teleport, teleport slash, slash teleport yeah. overhead, teleport. In this game, if you hit arc drive against another character with Tono Shiki, you are able to access a couple of moves from Nania. Yeah. Um, and it's really nice. That's no. Punish. Yeah, yeah, punish there. That's a full punish from Arc, too. Yeah, one of the interesting things about Nanya is if you kill with that super, it goes to the next round. Yes, so they it have does. it the whole round the next round. It's crazy. It's crazy. I, like, I didn't really realize it because I, I knew that if you didn't kill with it, you were able to follow up and it doesn't carry over to the next round. Right, right, right. But, like you said, if you kill with it, you're able to use all of those normals yeah, in like, the next round. Pay it yeah. forward to the next round for yourself. Hook mm -hmm. yourself up. Oh. Nice air grab. Oh, he, yeah. he, he missed his reversal. Two -way, two -way, two -way. There was no way he was trying to block that. Nope. Nice clash. Got yeah. him. Ran the splits on him. Dude, all of those, uh, all of those Shiki players kind of use that normal, like the dash, like. Oh, because yeah. it's crazy. It's, it's so two to six B. Yeah. yeah, it's it's insane because on it's it's air unblockable. Yep. Like easy ass confirm, big mm. damage, mm. like. 
It's it's just really really good, and it's 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 like a lot of characters. Like it's like most characters have moon skills like that. And the one he just used. Yes. But Shiki just does two three six B. Doesn't even need the moon skill really. <laughs> he really doesn't. Yeah, he gets a lot of those clash frames as well as like a little bit of armor. I think. No, he doesn't get any armor. It's oh, just it's just, it's just a normal oh, okay, it's a normal okay, move, yeah. but the hitbox is so godlike that it yeah, just owns yeah, yeah, people. Yeah. It's so so nice. Hey, nice. yeah, wake up low shield from Young Oh, that was brave. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. What he canceled the clash frames. Are you that kidding me? That was sick. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh no. He tried to shield it, I think. Oh, he gets the Inani or normal. Oh, oh he went into the <laughs> Dude, this game is too hype, bro. What the heck? That I was crazy. Oh, 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 my God. I tried not to yell on commentary right now, but I'm I am so hyped. I'm trying not Bruh. to scream. <laughs> that I was cannot sick. believe he called out the heat with that. Oh my god, Kyung Fu up one round over Fat Clash in the second game. That was so sick. Got him. Oh, again, got him. Yeah, Go just going to PC air throw. Yeah, nice setup on the wake up. Yeah. Oh, oh, little misspaced on the throw. Interruption for backlash. Yeah, ABC. Went oh, the low. counter! Ooh. Let's go. Moo drive into moo drive. All right, we in there? Yeah, not yet. No, Kung Fu. Oh no! Ah. I want Kung Fu to not yet so no, bad. I wanted this so Got bad. Him. Please, banana, so bad. Okay, knockdown. Oh right, yeah, air dash the low. Oh no. my gosh, so good from Kung Fu. Backlash. One one. Backlash went down with four bars, bruh. Blood heat him. Get him oh off you. <laughs> that was so sick. I can't believe I saw that. That was definitely God, one of the craziest things. Wake thing. up heat. That was awesome. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh yeah. Spending moon drive early in the round. Yeah, that's a confirm off it. Oh, he could he could get that uh that air dash even after BCPC BC air throw. Yeah. With moon drive. Yeah, you got extra extra moon air options. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, oh, schmicks. great call out there. Oh, nice. oh, yeah, Arc really able to convert even yeah. off of kind of like an interaction like that. Backlash's movement has been yeah. really paying off for him. Getting all of that health back, pausing the timer as well. Yeah, look at Backlash. Oh, what the elbow? The elbow? The unconfirmed elbow single uh, hit. Okay, yeah, just going to the rapid beat, throwing it back toward the corner. Oh, he messed yeah, up, really he messed nice. up. That's a punish. That's oh, a punish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Punish on the landing frames there. Yeah, yeah. Backlash, great knowledge against Kung Fu. Yeah. Okay, DP. You think the Shiki player pressure? is not going to DP? Bro? Yeah, Come on. of course. <laughs> He's just going to DP. Oh, that was overkill. We take yeah, it, though. Yeah, we're we take taking it. those. Backlash going to have yeah. no resources at, the, at this round. Still, he's sitting uh, comfortably with this one round over Kim Yeah, yeah for sure. You always, um, you always cash it out for yeah. him. Yeah. Even though, you know, like you said, oh. Backlash has no moon drive, no meter at all. Chunku is going to... Oh, oh no, he didn't last very long with that meter. He tried. Oh no, punish on the whip jump C. Yeah, backlash looking good. Oh, the big drop just as I like say it. Yeah, get all that life back. Oh, he guessed it. He's oh, holding the unblock. No. no, yeah, not gonna catch any jump back from backlash at all. Nice again. Yeah, really nice. Backlash got the read on yeah, his shield working habits. His way towards a perfect. Oh, they were no. both going for it, man. Unblockable. Screw it. Why not? Oh, Clash! Got him. Yeah, and stuff. that is going to be it. Backlash taking it over Kyung Fu. What a match! That was crazy. Good that set. was absolutely insane. Good set. I did, I did say Cheeky versus Arc doesn't disappoint, right? You know, there it is. It does not disappoint, yeah. Uh, we saw some really interesting kind of interactions there. Yeah. Um, especially on Wake Up. We were kind of freaking out over that Wake Up Heat called out by Kyung Fu. Uh, just going into DP, but yeah, Backlash still able to kind of play his way out into that situational awareness with uh, Ark, who's really good in this game. But uh, yeah, congratulations to uh, Black Backlash. So and I think we are going to switch out. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks. I'll be probably be back later. I don't really know. <laughs> Tangled. Uh oh. All right. There we go. Yeah, what's up, dude? All right. I'm out of everything. I can. I can actually do my job here. Word. All right. So, who took that one? Is that uh? Uh. Um. What was the Arcoid's name? 
Uh, uh, backlash. Backlash? Yeah. Okay. Well, backlash is going to be moving on to the winner's side of top eight. We're going to have one more qualifier. Uh, going to be Onisan against Brightside. <laughs> uh, yeah, Onisan, pretty good name. I'm not going to hate on that one. Yeah, I mean, it's got the, the different spelling. Brightside, uh, one of our older players. Uh, yeah. Started coming back, uh, you know, for Strive. Uh, he was uh, he was showing some pretty good stuff earlier with yeah. Ark. He was doing some some nice little mix-ups there. You know, he obviously had the had the feel for it and everything, so it was good. I don't know how much he played Old Melty. I know he was big on like our kind of heart. Uh, he really liked that game. Uh, I knew him originally as a Marvel Three player, mm -hmm. uh, so he definitely has a lot of experience with uh, you know the Air Dashers in general. I consider Marvel an Air Dasher for sure. All right. Onisan was on the stream last week. I do forget who he played. Oh, this is uh, Coma Blair. I was playing him earlier, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he definitely knows the Coma stuff, so. Yeah, I feel like we didn't see a lot of this character last week, and now everyone's like, yeah, this character's dope. Yeah, well, uh, like you know, you know the grappler blank brains who are like always gonna pick a grappler. Yeah. They touch coma and they're like, oh my god, this is like, I've never had this much power in my life. Yeah. <laughs> because like he's like mostly like he's like closer to a normal character than the average grappler, right? But he'd still be grappling. It's right? like a KOF grappler, right? Where they yeah. can run. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, why does the grappler get to run? Oh, this is kind of a cheap palette too. On the. <laughs> Good shield, but no follow oh, up. Oh, oh, counter hit B follow up. That drops it though. Yeah. Mars is swinging. Right side. Taking it safe though. Mars backing off. Okay. Oh, we got our Nissan. Mars, nice uh, other coma. Oh, my bad. Oh, Nissan. Ooh. Yep. Gonna get the duck. Right side. Gets a knockdown. This is a setup. Yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah, that was tricky. Yeah, maybe wanted to come down a little bit later to get the air normal there. All right, Onisan gets scooped. Wait, oh, air dash put himself God. in the corner, though, and gets scooped. Nice reaction by Onisan. Overheaded. Bonk. Yeah. There's no there's no low option. I was mentioning this earlier when they come on stream, but his Rekka has no low. Yeah. So it's just, it's just Rekka, Rekka high. He's going to kill. Bonk. Yeah. And he said a little bit of shaky start, but it really cleaned up the pressure in the corner and the conversions and able to close it out with just two good combos. Yeah, I mean, Coma does not need to touch you very much. Oh, uh -oh. that's okay. All right, going to get the combo into the knockdown, into Grappler Rick Mix. Nice, nice buddy. Oh, my is. God, yeah. what have you done? Last start. This is going uh, to throw a good 40% on the board, I think. you think 40? I think it's like 60. More? Okay. <laughs> There's 40% on the board. It's just remaining health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> right side two still has about uh, two thirds of his moon gauge, so it does have some resources to work with. Oh, Nissan's in trouble. He's dead. There's a grab. Yeah. Gonna be sitting on four bars here, though. A lot of resources for Onisan. Pretty empty on the moon gauge, though. This air to air, no counter hit, so no pick up. Right side able to get the scramble two A. All right, he's gonna. Yeah. Oh, Nissan is sitting on the four bars, which means Blood Heat is uh, very possibly coming. So let's see if Blood Heat right side covers. He Might have even been attempting it, just missing the yeah, timing. He just getting hit right now. Oh, it's over. All right. Yeah, Art able to combo off for grabs. Bright side gonna go up 1 0. It's like a medium common trait. A good amount of characters can combo off their grabs. Not everyone. Uh, Usually there's the one only three, I think. Uh, the, the ones that can't seem like it's just a good knockdown and they get good Oki. Yeah, yeah, I mean, oh, beautiful shield Didn't there. get the conversion, but I feel like the mental damage off that was good, pretty good alone. Well, it's it's the only way to actually get a punish on that move, because otherwise he just jump cancels on whiff. So it's like it's like the actual only yeah. answer. <laughs> nice. Armor's out. Yeah, that move's mad cheap. Moon drive DP, yeah. Was able to see the commit. Yeah, it didn't lose. Oh, the, but right back at you. It didn't lose the jump C. It lost to shield into into shield follow up. That's what it was. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Nissan's in trouble. And another shield. Oh my yeah. God, that move is so good. <laughs> oh, nice back. Oh, dash. yeah. That was perfect. 
both both characters sort of got crossed up, but it was able to get Koma out of the situation. But Onisan Corners put himself in the corner. That's bad. Yeah, already paying for it. Yeah, but Brightson goes for this uh, mid screen mix. Oh, caught the back dash. Yeah, that was cool. Nice. Oh, good I way. Love that. Yeah. That, that was real good. Onisan went for the counter shield. Brightside just waited it out, punished the landing. Yeah, Onisan's got to fight his way out. He needs he needs to, to good make block on the happen. overhead. Yeah, That's good. Plus. And that made him spend a good chunk of his resources just to stay safe there. Yeah, he's he's trying to spend everything to, to live. Yeah, getting some life back here. Unlock. He should have maybe burned a meter on that. I think he can. Yeah, especially in heat, right? You're about to lose all your meter anyways. Yeah. Oh my oh, god, super. Duh. Wrong super. But it's okay. He gets a mix. Maybe it wasn't the wrong super. <laughs> he wanted the mix anyway. Right side, so gonna the take The mix is more up. important than this, this dumb arc drive. All right, so uh, let me, I think that was our last winner side qualifier for the top eight. So uh, we'll be moving into that pretty shortly here. Are we going to losers now? Maybe. Depends. They might already be running most of them. Yeah, I assume so. I'm going to have a look at who's qualified so far. Uh, our winner side going to be you against Mars and then Backlash up oh, against no, Bright Side. Yeah, that's going to be the match now. It's going to be winner semis then. All right, so Mars sitting down and more coma on screen. Going to be going up against the arm with Akiha. Hello, hello. Back just in time for more Akiha action. Oh, yes. the uh, I just saw the arm like hop on the stream setup, and I was like, all right, I got to come.